Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a product review. I would like to talk with you about the new uh, sea salt spray by Aesthetica. It is Aesthetica sea salt spray. It looks like this. comes in a little bottle. It's about, it's 4.2 ounce fluid ounces. So that's the size of the bottle. And it's a pretty new product. I think it came out a couple of months ago. And so I wanted to talk with you a little bit about this product and my experience with it and give you my opinion on it. I know that there are a number of other reviews out there. So please know this is just one person's viewpoint and what I think of it may not be what you think of it. And so I just like to come on here and share not only, um, objective information about products but also subjective information because I think it's really important that we are honest about how we feel about certain products as wig wearers. I happen to be someone who does a lot of reviews but I'm also an everyday wig wearer and product user and I have my preferences just like everyone else. So in this review I'm not only going to talk with you about the benefits of this product but also some of the cons that I have found personal preference wise. So let's get going on this. So this product is a sea salt spray. It is meant to be sprayed on your synthetic wigs and I think they also said it can be used on human hair which I don't have any so I haven't tried it but to bring some texture to maybe get some more curl out of it or or more kind of a messy beachy look. I know Aesthetica put a video out there showing this on multiple different kinds of wigs, including a straight wig, where it was really able to get some messy, beachy, sort of uh, crimpy look out of even a straight wig, which I'm not gonna show today. I'm just gonna show you on the wig I have on my head. So right now I am wearing Henry Margot Jewels. And this is one of my favorite styles. I love Henry Margot Jewels. I'm forgetting the color now, and so I'll have to put that in the description. It's like 82733H, I think, but I might have gotten some of those codes mixed up, so look in the description if you want to know what the color of this is. So the jewels I have on my head has been worn uh, probably five or six times. She has not been washed yet, and I have put no product in her at this point. So the only thing that I've done with this jewels, I have taken a wide tooth comb to her. I also finger comb her, and I have taken a little bit of water to her occasionally and try to scrunch her up with water. I'm going to show you what happens when you use this Aesthetica sea salt spray to really amp up the curl and what it also does is it kind of coats the fibers so it gives it a little bit of texture as well. And so if you're looking for a style that maybe you can hold, this might help with that as well. So what they do, they recommend is you just spray it liberally, that's what they talk about. So you saw what she looked like, you know, not super textured, not super messy, I should have maybe done a 360 first. And then you just take it and you just start spraying it all over and scrunching it up kind of wherever you want to get some more texture, some more volume, and some more lift. And so one of the first things I'm going to tell you about this product is it works. It really does work. Um, the more you use, the more it works. The more volume you get, the more texture that you get, the more sort of messy, beachy waves you get. So when they did it in their video, they really, really put a ton on the wigs and kind of got them damp. And so I've done it both ways. I've used it where I just sprayed just a little tiny bit and I've used it where I've used a lot. And it's kind of, it does, I mean, it will give you just a little bit of texture or it'll give you a lot. So you just kind of spray it, you scrunch or do whatever it is that you want to do with it, and then you see how it really changes the look. So I sprayed enough that she got a bit damp, and then I'll scrunch it, and then you just let it dry. And that's all there is to it. Now, what do I think of this product? Um, first of all, for the for what it's intended to do, I love it. I think it works awesome. It absolutely gives volume, texture, beachy waves, messiness, 
amps up the curl. It does all of those things. So if, from that perspective, I'm a fan and I really, really like it. I just dropped it. <laughs> I was going to quick look and see if I can see the ingredients. The ingredient list is quite long. Um, so the cons of this product. First of all, I don't like the smell of it. I know when I first saw them do their review on it, they mentioned that it has sort of a fresh scent like their other wet line products, so their shampoo and their conditioner and their conditioning spray. I don't think it smells like those things at all. I love the smell of their wet line. Their shampoo, their conditioner, and their conditioning spray smell amazing. It's, it's a fresh, light, slightly floral but not overpowering smell. I just love it. It's just this fresh light smell not heavily scented. This, I don't know how to describe it. It has, it doesn't have a coconut smell like some of the Beach Wave sprays have at all but it has this sort of salty smell to it. It's not the same and I really don't prefer this smell at all. Um, it's again, it's not overpowering. It's not super heavily scented but it has enough of a scent that I don't really like it that much. So that's my first con of this, is I don't love the smell. Um, it, and it does linger a little bit. I, the smell, I think, does linger. I'll notice it like a little bit later in the day. I'll kind of catch a whiff of it <laughs> every now and then. So I think the smell does linger. This is, again, one of those personal preference things. You might love the smell of this. I've actually heard a couple of reviewers say they really like the smell of this. So that's just my personal preference. I don't think it smells like the Wetline products at all, which is what they said it did. The second con to this is kind of, by necessity, it really coats the fibers. So um, this is kind of one of those things, if you want to get the benefit of it, then you have to take this part of the, the, the con of it. It really coats the fibers and, and kind of makes them a little sticky. Um, sticky is not really the word because it's not, it's not sticky, but I have noticed if I've used this more than once on a wig, it has this feeling, like a dirty feeling to it. Again, it's coating the fibers so that you can get the look you're trying to achieve. So you kind of don't have a choice. But my preference is to use very little product on my wigs. I just don't like them to feel coated. Even John Renault Peace Out Cream, which I love, and I use, I use on wigs, I do love it. The con for me of that is it coats the fibers, and then later on when I go to wear the wig, you can feel that leftover residual. And so if there is a day when I don't want the style that I achieved with the product, I'm kind of stuck with that product in the wig until I wash it. Now, again, if you're using this and you're trying to achieve a certain look, then you're going to have to put up with that side of it. And so, um, but I do want to tell you, when I say it's sticky, it's not sticky. Like, I can later on take a wide tooth comb through the hair and I can comb it out. I just can, after, you know, after that, I can just feel that there's something on the fibers. And I do feel that this will cause me to have to wash my wigs a little more frequently. But for my personal preference and how I like the fibers to feel, you may actually love how it coats your wigs. You may really appreciate the extra texture that it gives the fibers, especially in a wig that may be low permatease. So a benefit of this is if you have some wigs that don't have a lot of permatease, you might notice throughout the day that the style falls a little flat as the day goes on. I've noticed that in wigs that don't have a lot of permatease and I'll wear them for 13 hours, 10 hours. By the end of the day or even throughout the day, I feel like I'm constantly having to do this to it, you know, kind of poof it out a little bit because it doesn't have the permatease there to hold that style. Uh, so for wigs like that, this may be actually what you're looking for. Get it in there at the root a little bit to really give it uh, some of that texture that you need so that the, maybe the style will hold a little bit better throughout the day. Wigs with a lot of permatease don't tend to have that problem. The permatease really helps to hold the volume and the style. So that's kind of all I have for you on this. So. Uh, Bottom line, kind of my final verdict, this stuff works amazingly. It's fantastic. If you're looking to amp up the style, amp up some curl, squish up some curl, you know, get a messy look, get some texture in your wig, all of those things, this works amazing. The trade-off is 
now you've kind of coated those fibers and they're going to remain that way until you wash it. Um, that's, you know, that's, that's just, that's what that's, I guess it is what it is, right? Um, and then the other part of it is I don't love the scent. I wish it did smell like their wet line, which is amazing. This has just this weird salty smell to it that I really can't describe. Other than that, I actually, I would recommend it. If you're looking for a sea salt spray that is going to do what you just saw this do, this will work great. I've not tried any other products though. I don't know if there are other products out there that will do exactly the same that may have a different scent. So this is my only experience with sea salt spray on a wig so far. If you have questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, hopefully this helped you along with all the other videos that are out there to decide whether or not the Aesthetica sea salt spray is for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.